गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू द कंप्यूटर क्लास लेट्स स्टार्ट द चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन एंड द चैप्टर नेम इज डेटा स्ट्रक्चर तो चिल्ड्रेन इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स आर यूज इन जावा सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो माई फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज डेटा structure so you know that children data structure is a concept of creating logical structures logical structure in memory in such a way that by using a small spaces of the memory numerous data item could be stored such structures are array stack queue Linked list, tree, graph, etc. So these are the some data structure. Okay, and you already know about this array. Okay, you know that array is a collection of a similar data type, or it is a single dimensional array. Okay, so now my first topic start from stack. first topic is stack so children stack is also a memory structure also a memory structure which is similar to sda sda means single dimensional array but these are certain restrictions okay certain restriction yeah they are differ from array array is also a single dimensional array or right? array is also in a single dimensional array and stack is also a single dimensional array but there are some restrictions okay so what is the rest restriction the first restriction is for stack stack okay so in stack only one end is open for entry and exit of the data it means the data is enter from the one end and exit from the one end and no element can be accessed from any middle class okay so stack follow the concept of lifo lifo means last in first out okay so look at this example so the stack operation in real life okay so look at this figure so in this figure the bricks contain in a buckets so we must observe that the brick which is placed in the bucket last one can be taken out first and a vice versa this show the application of a stack so i hope you understand what is a stack so a stack is a single dimensional array okay and it's work uh, on principle lifo last in first out and the restriction is only one end look at this picture beta only one end is open for enter and exit the data and okay and no element can be accessed from any middle cells so i hope you understand what is a stack now stack pointer next topic is stack pointer so what is a stack pointer so in a stack contain a pointer called a stack pointer which point the top most element of the stack suppose that this is the stack and here the element this is the element number 1 element number 2 element number 3 element number 4 so here this is the last most top top most element of the stack 4 this is the sp means this is the stack pointer which point the top most element of the stacks so basically there are four types of operation is performed on a stack okay but peep and change is not in course of course okay right so ne now we will be discuss about push or a pause operation push or a pop operation so push push operation means 
इट इज अ प्रोसेस टू एंटर द एलिमेंट टू अ स्टैक टू एंटर द एलिमेंट इन द स्टैक राइट सो टू डू सो इंक्रीज द स्टैक पॉइंटर बाय वन एंड देन स्टोर द डिफाइन एलिमेंट एट द पोजीशन डिनोटेड बाय द स्टैक पॉइंटर सो इफ द स्टैक पॉइंटर एन वेयर एन इज द साइज ऑफ द स्टैक देन नो एलिमेंट कैन बी पोस्ट इन टू द स्टैक एनी मोर सो दिस सिचुएशन इज टर्म एज अ स्टैक लो For example, suppose that I am taking one example. This is the stack. Here the capacity of this stack is to input the four element. Okay. Now here we input the element one, two, three, and a four. Okay. Now the stack is full. So the value of stack pointer is sp is equal to four, and the size of the yeah, capacity of this stack is four. Means four is equal to four. now when we insert the another element okay so this situation is term as a stack overflow when sp means stack pointer is equal to equal to the yeah equal to size of the stack yeah capacity of the stack stack pointer is equal to size of the stack so this situation is known as a stack overflow and push it is the process to enter an element into the stack next pop so pop operation this is a process to retrieve an element from the stack retrieve an element from the stack so first of all take out the element from the stack and decrease the stack pointer by 1 increase the stack pointer by 1 in push operation and decrease the stack pointer by 1 in a pop operation clear if the stack pointer is null then it's indicate that no element is available into the stack or this situation is known as a stack overflow means if the value of sp is equal to minus 1 so this situation is known as a stack under flow so in push operation we check that the stack overflow condition and in pop operation so when we retrieve the element from the stack we can check that the condition for stack under flow right look at this algorithms of a push operation okay, children so in this expression in step number 1 we can check that if sp means stack pointer is equal to size then display the message stack overflow okay otherwise sp is equal to sp plus 1 means increase the value of stack pointer and push the element into this stack simple okay step number 1 check the size of the stack pointer if the sp means stack pointer is equal to the size of the stack it means stack overflow otherwise increase the stack pointer value and push the element into the stack clear yes now the next topic is types of arithmetic expressions so children there are three types of arithmetic expressions are used in data structure first one is prefix infix or a postfix prefix infix or a postfix so prefix prefix means in prefix expression the operator is placed before the operand before the operand for example ab this is the operand and here we use this operator so this is the prefix when operator is placed before the operand so it is known as prefix expression right infix expression means when the operator is placed in between the operand suppose that this is the a or a b and here we use this operator so this expression is known as infix expressions so in in infix operation operator is placed in between the operand and the postfix as the name suggests post means after so when uh, the operator is placed after the operand after the operand means suppose that ab is the operand and we can use operator here okay so here operator is used after the operand so this situation yeah this expression is known as a 
पोस्ट फिक्स एक्सप्रेशन नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज हाउ टू कन्वर्ट द इनफिक्स टू प्रीफिक्स एंड द पोस्ट फिक्स हाउ टू कन्वर्ट द एनी इनफिक्स एक्सप्रेशन एंड इन टू अ प्रीफिक्स एंड अ पोस्ट फिक्स फॉर्म ओके सो लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन ए प्लस ए प्लस बी 